Bill Cosby, 85, is facing a new lawsuit from five women, most of whom were involved with the actor during the height of his fame on The Cosby Show. The disgraced actor's PR has come forward denying the claims, believing it to be a frivolous suit. Five women filed a lawsuit on Monday against NBC and Cosby under a New York state law that temporarily suspends the statute of limitations for older sexual assault claims. The women alleged that Cosby had either raped them or forced them into sexual acts during their time on The Cosby Show. The five women said Cosby was able to take advantage of them because they were young and vulnerable according to TMZ. One complainant had played Mrs. Minifield in a 1992 episode of The Cosby Show and she claims Cosby drugged and sexually assaulted her on multiple occasions, alleging that she was also physically attacked when she threatened to go to the police. According to the suit, Cosby threw her down a flight of stairs and kicked her out, warning that if she went to the police, he would destroy her. The complainant admitted that she didn't go to the police and report the crimes until now out of fear for her life. The fifth allegation involves a former Hollywood executive who accused Cosby of raping her in 1969. Speaking to TMZ, Cosby's PR Andrew Wyatt has called the fresh allegations frivolous while also claiming this was not a new suit. He claimed that the women have filed the suit as they are unwilling to accept that Cosby has been vindicated in his Pennsylvania criminal case. Wyatt added that the accusers are all about money, not justice while Cosby also denies the new allegations and says hell be cleared of any wrongdoing in the end. Cosby was convicted in Pennsylvania in April 2018 for a criminal sexual assault charge but the case was overturned last year. An agreement with a previous prosecutor prevented him from being charged in the case and this led to his being released from prison immediately. Dot at the time of this news, the president of RAIN, a leading U.S. organization campaigning against sexual violence spoke out. He said, we are deeply disappointed in today's ruling by the Pennsylvania Supreme Court, and by the message, this decision sends to the brave survivors who came forward to seek justice for what Bill Cosby did to them. This is not justice. Victoria Valentino, who accused Cosby of assaulting her, told CNN that she was absolutely shocked, stunned by the court's decision at the time. She said, it's a gut punch. What does it say about women's words, a woman's value, all the lives that he damaged? It's outrageous. I'm infuriated. Writing for a panel of state Supreme Court judges, Judge David Wecht said the court made its decision after finding an agreement with a previous prosecutor prevented Cosby from being charged. The judges wrote that a non-prosecution agreement had been struck, and barred the case from retrial. One accuser was allowed to testify in Cosby's first trial in 2017, and the jury was deadlocked. A trial judge then allowed five additional accusers to testify in a retrial, who had similar alleged experiences with him in the 1980s.